point. Um, so uh, there were a few things that we were really wanting to do over the last a um, uh, few months with the website and sort of over the Christmas period, I sort of putting that together, including like putting logos of all the affiliate institutions. Um, yeah, just more sort of design information, etc. cetera, um, production ready. Uh, you know, we were able to do an OVH cloud, so we put the logo there. Um, also sort of emphasizing the small footprint and sort of that uh, Unicraft is green and its technology, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, cloud platform. Um, but the documentation site and the main website, the one that you see now, uh, have, have now been merged. So um, the idea is that when you clicked on docs, you don't go to a subdomain, you're actually going to the same site. And that means that that repo, which should be open source, uh, contains sort of everything. It's all in one place. At the moment, it's a combination of the Unicraft core repository, which has a folder called docs. And that docs generates a Sphinx website. And then we had a separate repo that was just the front page and they became out of sync. And actually now they're so out of sync that the documentation doesn't even make sense in some places because there's so many, been so many API changes. And so this attempts to solve it. So with this uh, new documentation, I've also been able to go through a lot of the different uh, sort of uh, bits that I thought were missing. Um, I've had a few iterations uh, with Resvan um, and uh, the, the kind of structure that we found now sort of, sort of works. And, um, also looking at a few other examples, uh, like the Zen project, um, which feels more like a wiki. Um, I wanted to try and emphasize, like to have that kind of same feeling, but at the same time also, you know, it being documentation. So I think uh, here, when you get to the documentation side, you can dive into different topics pretty quickly, but then you can go through, for example, um, like, I don't know, what the design principles of Unicraft are from a sort of a 10,000 feet perspective. If you're a student, I think this would be good information for you. Also bringing in a lot of the material that's been written over time. Uh, also, please note that this is still work in progress to some extent. A lot of the documentation here that you see here needs to go through the proper review process. So you'll see spelling mistakes and you might see stuff like this, uh, where I've literally copied uh, verbatim uh, stuff from the numerous papers that have been published uh, since the documentation has been out of sync, right? So we publish papers and uh, contains really good and valuable information that might not be distilled very easily for some people. And I think we can put that um, on here. The same goes for um, the Summer of Code. So last year we held a 10 day uh, sort of a Summer of Code. Students were learning, a lot of good documentation came out of this. Um, and I think this should go, for instance, uh, on the documentation as, as well, sort of following a nice flow. Uh, every page, maybe not this one because it's the overview, but um, at the bottom you can like follow left and right, almost a bit like a book. Um, and if you go through, for instance, into development, uh, reporting, this is where those tutorials are sort of indicated here, um, can come in. And um, if you've written a tutorial like this, you know who you are, um, please help uh, in uh, bringing it to the new documentation site. Uh, we can split it up. Uh, there's obviously a lot to do, a lot of different places that things can go. Um, but uh, yeah, so quickly, just concepts, oh, you know, 10,000 feet respective uh, features. So these are the different things that Unicraft sort of offers, sort of for embedded devices, screen, its performance, for example. Uh, we know too well, for instance, these figures came out of one of the papers. Again, not done uh, yet. Um, Usage, how to use craft, how to install craft, um, advanced usage. So this is what the current documentation uh, provides is how to use uh, Unicraft from a make perspective, which is great. I, uh, we'll use this um, way to uh, build Unicraft unikernels, but uh, um, this I think should go on to advanced. Um, operations, how to run a unikernel. We have now more tutorials on how to actually bring a unikernel to a particular, for instance, cloud platform. And some brilliant work and you know some place where we can have some screenshots. Okay, well, this is you press here, you press there. This is where you upload the image. This is how you can get it running, etc. Um, that's a lot of text here. Um, how do I get to the next one? Contributing. I think one of the things that we've also been really needing uh, to revamp is the contributing guide and how um, someone who is new to the project can get involved if they are so inclined. Um, and obviously contributions are more than welcome and lots of guidance will be provided to anybody who would like to, to join in. But there's sort of, uh, we have a sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, 
standards that we follow uh, in terms of opening up a PR, what should be in the PR, um, so like uh, what you should do when you submit changes, and checklists, um, some techniques on rebasing and squashing, like because we, you know, commits, for example, are uh, uh, trying to leave the whole Unicraft Unikernel uh, core repository uh, in a working state. And a lot of times you make one commit with a series of changes and sort of well described. Um, coding style. This is the current documentation, but maybe um, a little bit of extra stuff that comes in, in between. Um, what's another one? Um, review process. I think the review process is a little bit confusing for some people uh, because it's not documented at all. Like what you're meant to expect um, when you open up a PR, like the automatic check patch. Yeah, and we, we actually had a bit of, uh, of an issue even with uh, with Michalis and Rene, who are kind of well grounded in the community, exactly. and they, they, it wasn't clear for them about reviewed by glad by email, and yeah, this to, need, needs to be uh, updated exactly. to make it sure to make it kind of available for first the community and then would be contributors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like um, just so that we all are sort of on the same page. Um, because there have been, it's been an iterative process. First, it was just reviewed by, now it's reviewed, approved by, um, and then this should sort of be the source of truth, this documentation. And also, I, at least for this one, I wrote it in, a, in like the sense that a reviewer could read this and review a PR, right? Like they could run this, right? The commands here and they could actually do perform the review. And the same should go for approval process, even techniques on how to automatically approve it from your CLI. Um, yeah, there's and also the community page, which I think is super important. We have a page like this on the front page, on the on the current uh, main. If I go to newcraft.org, right? There is a bit of like um, just has to load, uh, not documentation, but resources page, right? It always contains like presentations that were performed by people, um, and uh, papers that were published. They can go all here, um, or information about when we're meeting, like now. Um, with the community calendar and nice. uh, who, who's in the community, etc., with the with the government and uh, governance repo, etc. So this is kind of the overhaul um, of the documentation I've been working on. Um, it's going to be my pleasure once we get it to kind of to start assigning tasks to everyone. I I, I like it. It's very it's very cool and uh, yeah, it it needs uh, an update and the filling of the documentation website. So we have a healthy community sure. and they would. Uh, they would make it uh, uh, more usable. I mean, the computation filling all the missing spots, make updating the at least the contributing part. This something is very important to to have. Um, yeah. Well, so, uh, Alex, do you have some sort of timeline when we will have some sort of repo or the ability to create PRs to make contributions and assign people to different sections? Yeah, either at the end of today or beginning of tomorrow. Uh, so most of it, as you see, is done. Um, uh, the docs is not done, right? The, there are pages that are here that are completely empty, yeah, right? Yeah, no, uh, I like, want to assign people to them, and okay, well, well this is the right. repo, and uh, once you go, once you get them started, we can uh, we can add people to them. Sure, yeah. So, but this is just a bit of a preview, um, in case you, uh, it should like the the repo will be open source, so you should be able to down, you know, clone it and run it yourself and see what it looks like, and um, um, the idea is that yeah, of course, it's sort of in the spirit of the community, but that. Yeah, the, the way that we're approaching this part, this documentation here, is that, uh, yeah, there's going to be lots of PRs in the same way if you're part of the uh, Unicraft Summer of Code, if you were part of uh, creating a page, that is its own PR, and we go through an iterative process there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um, releases page has also been updated um, and now contains... Um, yeah, all the releases and same goes for blog. I mean, I just copied them over from what we had before, but uh, um, yeah, it should be this you know, just a repo, right? So we can, if someone wants to write a blog post, they can write it as a new PR, just adding a single file. Uh, yeah. All right. Any cool. comments, remarks from the community? I think this is pretty cool, and it's 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 oh, it will be awesome when we deploy it and. Uh, let's get the documentation uh, filled as ready as possible. Yeah. I'm just showing you random other pages. All right. So, so then we're going to wait from your side, Alex, to to make these updates, and then we can we can start uh, contributing to it. Sure. Awesome. Thanks so much.